Devon Campbell is from Arlington, Texas, and has been one of the most sought-after offensive linemen in this year's recruiting class. Devon's first love was actually basketball, and he credits that game for his athleticism. He didn't really like playing football until 7th grade, telling Vipe, my parents wanted me to play, so I did. Because I was so big, everyone just kept telling me to stay with it, that football would be my future. Originally, Campbell played on the defensive line, but decided to move over to the offensive side of the ball, which changed his life. Campbell played high school football at Arlington Bowie High School, where he was a 3 sport athlete. In 2019, Campbell was named the Texas District 4-6A Offensive Sophomore of the Year, while as a junior he was named to the 8-6A First Team All-District Team. Devon finished his high school career playing in the Under Armour All-American game after his high school finished the year 2-8 his senior season. Hey you! Yeah, you! Do you think Devon Campbell will be a future star at the college level? Let me know in the comments section below. If you are enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it because it really helps the video and the algorithm. As of now, according to 24-7 Sports Composite, Devon Campbell is a 5-star recruit who is the best interior lineman in the country, 3rd best player in Texas, and 9th best player in the 2022 recruiting class. He received over 32 different Division I offers, likes of Alabama, Georgia, Oklahoma, Texas, and USC. His first offer came before his sophomore year from Illinois State, and other schools would quickly follow. For the longest time now, Campbell has been viewed as one of the most important uncommitted players in the nation. During an Under Armour camp, counselors set up a one-on-one -on -one offensive line versus defensive line drill that inherently favors the defensive lineman. There were no pads and it's hard to block someone that way. Campbell, however, didn't lose a single rep despite going against some of the most talented defensive line prospects in the region. He was big at 6 foot 4, 310 pounds. He was powerful and he was agile. That's why he has earned the recruiting ranking that he has in the list of scholarship offers. Campbell spoke to The Athletic this past spring saying, I really don't know what the next step would be. I could commit, I don't know. I could make a top three or top five. I don't have target dates yet. I don't know. I'm just seeing how everything goes right now. It always seemed like he was going to prolong his recruitment to make the best informed decision. He told The Athletic, I'm really starting to feel how important I am to these coaches. Everything in the recruiting process is starting to sink in for me. At first, I was trying to get my head so wrapped around it. But I can see now that I'm a major priority for all these schools who are recruiting me. Being one of the top players, all the schools have said they'd be lucky to have me. Whenever the dead period is over, I've been planning to go to every school I possibly can. Campbell narrowed down his final two choices to Texas and Oklahoma, arch rivals. For months, it looked like the Longhorns were the front runners to land the Arlington native, especially with the coaching staff changes for the Sooners. The new Oklahoma coaching staff has pushed hard to land Campbell over the last few weeks. According to Steve Wiltfong, he hasn't taken any visits in January and has just seemed ready to go. Many believe going to National Signing Day, Campbell is going to be wearing the Longhorns uniform this fall. Devon Campbell chose to commit to Texas over Oklahoma, becoming the Longhorns' highest rated recruit in this recruiting cycle. He chose Texas because it felt like home was one of the first big schools to start recruiting him. According to Gabe Brooks from 24-7 Sports, Campbell is projected to be a future first round pick in comparison to Wyatt Davis. Brooks writes, ready to play run blocker, but technical advancements still needed in pass protection. Could potentially play multiple offensive line spots as well as defensive tackle, but projects best to guard. Should become a high major starter with high round NFL draft potential. I'm excited to see what Devon Campbell can do, and I love covering offensive linemen on this channel. But what do you think? How great will Devon Campbell be at the collegiate level? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure check out my videos on fellow 5-star linemen Kelvin Banks and Zach Rice right here. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.